by Pisces. Pisces Sun, Pisces Rising, and Pisces Moon. Welcome to your tarot video scope for the year 2018 by Ama. This recording will be for Pisces Sun, Pisces Rising, and Pisces Moon. If your sun sign doesn't make sense to you, please listen for your rising sign or for your moon sign, because sometimes your messages could make better sense to you through your rising sign and through your moon sign. For those of you who like to know more, I did make a whole new video for you, for your sign. Uh, in that video, I am looking uh, very closely at each and every month of 2018, and I will be giving you messages and predictions for each and every uh, month. So if you are interested, the link for that video will be right down here in the show more uh, description box. If you'd like to have a personal reading, a private reading, email me at amalightworker at gmail.com or go to my website amalightworker.com. Uh, thank you to all of you for liking, sharing, and subscribing. If you are new, welcome to you. If you like my videos, subscribe. When you subscribe, there's a subscribe button right down here. Next to that, you're going to see a little bell icon. Click on that, turn that on. This way, you will be notified each and every time that I upload special videos like this one. And you are also going to be notified each and every time that I do live streaming. And I do plan on doing a live reading for you, a live streaming in uh, January 2018. So stay tuned for that. For this reading today, I'm going to open three cards from the traditional tarot deck. Uh, each card is going to represent four months of the year. And then I'm going to open one additional card from the Psychic Tarot deck by John Holland. And uh, let me see what messages that card will reveal to you. And after that, I'm going to open two more cards from the Psychic Tarot deck to take a look at January 2018. So these are the cards that we wanted to show up in this uh, reading for you uh, today, uh, Pisces. So now let's uh, break it down one by one. The first card that we wanted to show up is the Eight of Wands, representing January, February, April, and March. And the meaning of the card is change comes quickly and swiftly. Hold on to your head. It also means all roads of communication are now open. To me personally, this card also symbolizes social media like YouTube, Twitter, Snapchat, uh, Facebook. Uh, it also symbolizes news and uh, information. Uh, and it signifies just change. Maybe change that comes suddenly, quickly. Or, or out of the blue. So now allow me to tune in so I can figure out what does this card mean for you. What is it that this card showed up in this reading for you, uh, Pisces? For some of you, changes are waiting for you right off the gate of 2018. Uh, emotional, emotional stress, Emotional distress or emotional healing, releasing, is very much uh, highlighted. You're going to have to do a lot of inner work, a lot of letting go. But first and foremost, I do feel it at an emotional uh, level. Because I keep getting the sense that many of you Pisceans will be ready to turn the page over. Therefore, you are going to focus on tying loose ends with any emotions that uh, you completely need to heal from or recuperate from. And particularly, February is very much highlighted for uh, that. You are going to arrive in your own conclusions. You are going to make some big uh, realizations in the light of some... Uh, information be revealed uh, to you in the light of some news that you are going to uh, receive. 
you could be making big realization about your career, where is it that you like to go with your career, you could be making big realizations about a relationship that you are uh, in. For some of you, maybe you are going to realize that you have been alone uh, for long enough and now you would be craving to have someone special in your uh, life. You may be processing certain thoughts and certain emotions and trying to let go of old wounds, old hurts, old grudge. But I also keep getting many of you will need to let go of any unrealistic expectations, any illusions that you may have. Uh, these unrealistic expectations could be uh, maybe you do have some expectations from a person or from a situation and now you may have to let go of these expectations that you have toward this person or toward this situation and let the universe do its job. So I can give you the change is coming but how you react to the change is completely up to uh, you. There's going to be some reconsideration, especially in March, uh, about your living situation and your living uh, arrangement. For some of you, you could be struggling with uh, your home environment, living arrangement, family situation, and you may be trying to change that uh, around. Um, if you are dealing with any important projects, there's going to be all of this information or a lot of work or a lot of projects kind of coming your way. You may suddenly find yourself to be uh, very uh, busy. But I also can give you a sense that for some of you, communication is very much highlighted. There's going to be a lot of communication back and forth between you and someone else. For some of you, there's going to be like a uh, flirting, maybe it's a love relationship, uh, maybe it's just sexual uh, attraction, but I do see you preoccupied with like getting in touch, keeping in touch, communicating back and forth, maybe um, um, being on the phone or talk, uh, talking um, with this other person very late at uh, night. You may be having some ideas about a business, you may be having some ideas about your uh, work, and I do feel that when these ideas do come to you, it does feel like um, it's a whole bunch of grand, brand new ideas. After a period, after a time, when you didn't feel that uh, you are coming up with solutions, you are coming up with uh, ideas. Now, this could also be solutions and other opportunities for you to resolve uh, a uh, situ uh, situation. But I also keep getting that the change that is coming may not necessarily be the change that you are craving for, may not be exactly 100% what you are looking for. That's why I keep hearing that how you react to the change, uh, okay, how you feel about uh, your change is totally going to be up uh, to uh, you. If during this hard time, January, February, March, or April, something may be taken away from you, or someone may not necessarily be part of your life anymore, for some of you there's going to be a breakup, it does feel that um, it's going to take you a little bit by surprise, because maybe you are blinded by this person, or blind, blindsided by the situation. Maybe there were a lot of factors, a lot of information, a lot that you did not know. Or maybe the truth was staring you in your face, you just didn't realize it on uh, time. If you are dealing with a work situation where maybe you need to address some issues, file a uh, complaint, apply for a uh, promotion. I keep getting that you may be dealing with, uh, it's not just going to be straightforward. You may, you may have to go in, in stages, you may have to do uh, an extra step or um, other things that are unpredicted will keep on uh, coming, uh, coming up. I also keep getting that they are, they are telling me that these arrows, these wounds, could also be 
uh, arrows of the new uh, energy because you may be putting new energy into any situations uh, or any areas of your life that to you they felt like they were uh, stagnating for a long uh, time um so you could be one by one tackling healing any emotional issues any um thoughts that maybe no longer serve you dealing with any memories that maybe weren't so pleasant like painful uh, memories painful things from your uh, past and bringing a new light shining a new light into these uh, internal uh, affairs, into these internal uh, emotions. You could be doing some research during this time. For some of you, you may be researching about a new job. You may be uh, researching about uh, maybe people that you like to hire if you are in a position that uh, you get to hire people. You may be researching uh, because maybe you come up with a business idea and now you need to research uh, make the proper research, do some research, or analyze this business uh, idea. You could be analyzing a situation. You may be analyzing and breaking down a financial aspect to a situation. But whatever it is, whatever it is, because the case is going to be different from different Pisceans, in this hard time between January, February, March, and April, you could be going over, over one by one, over uh, uh, analyzing, breaking down um, a, a uh, situation. Now, for some of you, I keep hearing you may also try to put something together. For some of you, this could be you trying to create um, a new home for yourself, trying to create a new sense of uh, family, trying to create a new sense of friendships and uh, communities, trying to create and build uh, a new relationship, a new, rela a new love relationship that may uh, come in and focusing uh, on... Um, uh, uh, that you may have to deal with some sudden trips or sudden and emergency situations. Now, for some of you, you may need to act uh, quickly. For other ones, uh, the situation may require for you to uh, travel or you're going to be in a situation where, that maybe for your work may require that you uh, travel. So that could be the case for some of you. Then, even though I'm talking about the first four months, January, February, March, and April, for some reason, they are also talking about in August. So, something that is going to happen in January, February, March, and April, for some reason, is also going to be connected to August 2018. So, there's some sort of a connection between especially January and um and uh, August. So it does feel like either you are going to be busy or you are going to decide to keep yourself busy. If you don't work, maybe you're going to keep yourself busy with other things. You may decide to keep your mind busy, reading, taking a course, uh, developing a new skill, but you're going to want to keep yourself uh, busy, make your life more uh, interesting, bring uh, something new into your life, into your uh, environment. You may be trying for new ways for you, so you can have more fun, more enjoyment, or more uh, fulfillment. The next card that you have is the Empress, uh, representing May, June, July, and August. To me, the Empress um, represents feelings, emotions, self-expression, socializing, long and short distant trips, abundance, emotional abundance, uh, financial uh, abundance, spiritual abundance. Of course, sometimes it also means uh, pregnancy, but to me it also means a female figure, um, a mother-like female figure that has crossed over, that could be a mother, a grandmother, an aunt, a teacher, a mentor, uh, that could be one of your spirit guides, 
uh, someone that is part of your soul family. So you don't have to necessarily know this person, this guide, uh, from this lifetime. You were together in a past lifetime. And now they are showing up in this reading to give you some uh, advice or a uh, message, a warning, or a uh, prediction. For some of you, I keep getting that you need to get out of this mental state or this emotional state that maybe you have kind of created for yourself. Maybe you were in a life circumstance that you ended up being disappointed, hurted, uh, uh, hurting, but I also keep getting that you personally tend to attribute more to this situation. And this a mother-like figure it is showing up in this reading, trying to cheer you up, trying to give you some encouragement. And I also keep getting that for some of you, having your own family, creating your own family, having a child, that will be uh, possible. I also keep getting that you're going to have a new addition to your family. If this is not directly your child, you may hear of a new child being born into uh, the family with whom um, with whom this mother-like figure ha seems to have a very karmic connection, but you as well will be having a karmic uh, connection. Uh, I hear about lessons being learned. Lessons that you are still going to learn as you are going through this path of emotional growth and uh, maturity. But I also keep getting that sometimes, the Pisces, you may have a tendency to uh, isolate yourself. You may have a tendency to kind of feel um, alone or you may isolate yourself on purpose. So for you, I keep getting that if normally you are that person, suddenly that is going to change because in 2018, you may feel like a social uh, butterfly. You may be gaining new friends, new friendships, trustworthy uh, friendships. I keep getting a situation with some of you who either are a single mother or a single uh, parent. And I keep getting something significant happening in your life as a single parent or as a, sing as a single mother or as a single father. This could be in relation to the child that you are raising and, uh, alone or this could be about something happening in your own uh, personal uh, life. This seems to be good. But I keep getting that. Um, you're going to, or life, the universe will give you a whole new meaning beyond simply you being somebody's uh, parent. It is about you finding um, a deeper meaning to your own life circumstance, a deeper meaning to your own uh, identity. For some of you, I can be getting that you may be researching your family uh, roots. You may be searching, researching old photos. You may be talking to other uh, relatives about uh, parents, grandparents, great great parents. Um, so it does feel that for some of you, there's going to be a lot of focus on finding out more about your family and your family uh, roots. I keep getting a placement. To me, it feels like you are here, and it feels like the universe is just grabbing you and boom, placing you right here where you need to be. Now, for some of you, that means that uh, this could be directly connected to your uh, living uh, location, okay? So for some of you, it's going to be a significant change, and the universe will guide you toward finding the perfect home for you, the perfect location for you, or the perfect location for your business if you have a one. For other ones, this came as if in the first four months you were feeling maybe busy or there was a lot going on internally, emotionally, now I keep getting you were in this kind of state, now boom, they're taking out, they're taking you out of sadness or grief or disappointment, and boom, and placing you. Uh, in a whole new emotional state, maybe uplifting you. 
Uh, so emotionally, uh, if for some of you, um, January, February, March, and April, maybe were a little bit hectic, or you didn't know what the heck was going on, you're going to feel a little bit more grounded internally and with your uh, emotions. For some of you, you may have to deal with a sudden pregnancy or a pregnancy that was unplanned uh, for, and it does feel it does feel that for some of you maybe it is unexpected, but it does feel a uh, very um, it does feel that you are going to uh, welcome it. Remember, this is a general reading uh, uh, after uh, after all. This is going to be a time of recuperation and getting better for some of uh, you. So maybe if in the first four months uh, you may have been like homebound for some of you. Maybe you are sick, maybe you were uh, emotionally going through something. I keep getting that throughout um, uh, May, June, July and August, for many of you is going to be you... Um, getting back uh, on your uh, feet. So either recuperating from an, an illness, a disease, maybe emotionally uh, recuperating. For some of you, this could be maybe your finances get a, uh, bo uh, a boost or uh, growth. You are going to evaluate, consider, reconsider where do you stand uh, in a partnership. Uh, may not necessarily be where do you stand in a relationship. This could be a different kind of uh, partnership because I keep getting that for whatever reason you are going to decide to put your feet firmly into a ground. So if you believe that you deserve something from this partnership that is your fair share, you are going to be insisting on uh, that. If it is that you want more fairness and more respect from a partner, uh, this could be a business associate, this could be something work-related, whoever this person is, you may be uh, insisting on uh, that. I keep getting that uh, you are going to be given some sort of a symbolic uh, priority or symbolic leadership, some sort of a symbolic position. This can be that maybe you are going to be symbolically in charge of um, organizing a gathering, a reunion, festivities, uh, celebrities. Uh, you may be feeling like the center of um, uh, attention, so having that symbolic uh, role uh, or title of the king or the uh, queen, but little by little, throughout May, June, July, and August, you are going to gain more control over different situations of your life. And I keep getting that all the areas of your life, all areas of your life will be uh, activated. So you may have things going on in each and every area of your life and not, not necessarily uh, bad. Um, for some of you, I keep getting that you may have a tendency to gain a little weight in 2018. So please be careful with uh, that. And I keep getting for some of you, you may find some success in maybe fashion or any careers that have to deal with like beauty and fashion. For some reason, this seems to be very highlighted. But this could also be that you may decide that you want to change something about yourself. You may change your style, you may change your appearance, you may change your hair, you may change your uh, wardrobe. So you may also see the influence of that in that way because not everybody deals with beauty, fashion or even beauty uh, competitions. The next card that you have is the Knight of uh, Wands. Representing September, October, November, and uh, December. And I forgot to mention, in uh, January, we're going to have a lunar eclipse, followed in February by a solar eclipse. And the same thing in uh, July and August. Again, we're going to have a lunar and a solar eclipse. So now, getting back to the Knight of Wands. Uh, the Knight of Wands, to me, it means changes are daunting or intimidating. It means uh, people um, ad uh, adore him, could be bossy, risk taker, or insensitive to uh, others. 
Uh, and if this knight of um, wands represents a person in your life, generally it represents a Leo, Sagittarius, or, or an Aries. This could be the sun sign, the rising sign, or the uh, moon sign. And sometimes um, you may get a message if you have a lot of fire in your uh, astrological uh, chart. So now allow me to focus and let me figure out why is it that this card showed up in this reading for you. For some of you, you may be in some sort of a love connection, love partnership, love relationship with this uh, person. Either they may end up disappointing you a little bit, or maybe, you know, when you fall in love and you kind of don't see what's wrong with the relationship or with the person, you kind of hold, hold them in a pedestal. So that would be the case for some of you. If this is not a love partner to you, this could be a child, this could be a family member, this could be a friend, this could be someone that for some reason you do seem to hold them in this ideal uh, place. And there's going to be some situations where uh, now you're going to see beyond everything that is uh, perfect. You may end up either being a little disappointed or you may simply end up finding out more about this other person that maybe is not so perfect as you made it in your mind. This is not necessarily about them uh, misrepresenting themselves to you. This could be about you creating a certain idea uh, about uh, them. Um, for some of you, I keep getting that there's going to be something in a work situation. This, for some of you, already happened, maybe last year or a couple of years ago, and you may still try to resolve the situation. There could be a lawsuit involved, there could be a settlement, there could be a worker's uh, compensation. But for other ones, this is going to be about information, uh, gossip, it's going to be even about you competing with somebody else, either to get a project, to get a promotion. Uh, there's going to be a certain sense of uh, comp competitiveness. The Nine of Wands also is representing someone who may just show up and kind of trying to help you with something. They may be offering to partner up with you, maybe in a business venture or in a different uh, way, um, or they may be offering you some advice, uh, they may be offering you some um, practical uh, help, they may be uh, offering you some information that will be useful uh, to, uh, uh, to you. Um, if you have a, a child, um, maybe a teenager or early 20s, you're going to be in a position where maybe you want to help them or maybe you need to help them, but you may not necessarily be able to help them. Maybe uh, they're going through something and you don't know what to tell them so uh, you can make them feel better. Maybe you're going to run into communication problems with them. Or maybe they're going to have some other thing going on, but you're going to be in a position where maybe you don't necessarily know uh, how to help them and you're going to have to have uh, a lot to fi uh, figure out. So maybe this is not about you. Maybe this is about this uh, other uh, person. For some of you, I keep getting lots of communication with banks, credit cards. Uh, for some of you, there's going to be talks around investments, uh, reimbursements, insurances, uh, payouts. Some of you may even tend to take a matter to the court or take a matter through a legal, um, a legal uh, proceedings or take a matter to the higher ups of your company or address it with uh, whoever handles complaints or the legal aspect uh, in your uh, company. Now, I don't know if the matter will actually go to that point, but some of you may have some ideas or you could be looking at that uh, possibility. 
I also keep getting that you may decide, you yourself may decide to share some information with others. You may decide to pick up on publishing. If you were into writing, creating, and maybe you stop for a while, you may be picking that up. So now you're going to complete some information or something that you are going to share with other uh, with other uh, people. I also keep getting that throughout this time you are going to complete anything that maybe you initiated back in January, February, and you are trying to kind of bring things to completion or to bring a case or a situation to be uh, finalized. Uh, you could be connecting with someone who either lives at a distance or um, lives at a distance, maybe they just come to visit you and stay with you for a uh, while, but for some of you this could be a love partner showing up and maybe you don't necessarily live in the same uh, area, so you could be figuring out some arrangements um, so that the two of you either can live together or the two of you can live uh, closer. If, for whatever reason, it wasn't possible for you to travel before either, short distance travel, long distance travel, international travel, for whatever reason, now I feel that in 2018 you're going to have chances and opportunities to uh, travel. And international travel kept showing up for a lot of signs, and you are not uh, ex exception uh, to uh, that. For some of you, I keep getting that you are going to improve something in terms of technology or communication. You may be improving your communication skills, you may learn a new foreign language, you may learn sign language. Um, for other ones, you may be learning numerology. Uh, astrology, you may be developing a um, uh, an app, you may be developing some sort of a computer program, you may be trying to go, um, if you already have basic skills when it comes to maybe computers or other things that you need to use for your line of work, I do feel that maybe you're going to decide that you want to know more, you want to learn uh, more, kind of deepen your uh, knowledge. Um, and you're going to be like a beacon of light for a lot of people. So, whatever you are saying, whatever advice you have to offer, you may find it that other people are really listening, paying attention to, or maybe they really want to hear your opinion, your, uh, your uh, wisdom, or simply emotionally, maybe you're going to be the one that you're going to feel at the center of attention, maybe you're going to attract a lot of people that um, need your emotional support, thus you can be that beacon of light, um, um, uh, supporting them in um, in that moment. So that's how this uh, comes up for uh, you guys. And the next card that you have, I pulled an additional card from the Psychic Tarot deck by John uh, Holland. This is the light. And the meaning of the card is, this card is appearing because many of you will need to have some reassurance that there's going to be light at the end of the tunnel. When this card appears, they are trying to reassure you that prosperity and bliss are possible. Pleasure, happiness, contentment, growth, success, joy are possible and they will uh, happen. This is also about being enlightened, being on a spiritual path, being uh, illuminated. Sometimes this card could also represent a new birth, birth of a child, birth of a new uh, idea. And generally, it means like you're going to have a sense like your whole life is being uh, renewed. This is your time to shine. This is your moment to uh, shine. And when you open your heart, when you put yourself out there, you're going to attract possibilities, you're going to attract people, you're going to attract uh, relationships, you're going to attract, um, uh, you know, a job that you that you really uh, like or your uh, ideal job, something that is meaningful uh, to uh, you. For some of you, you may discover something about your, yourself, you know, your compassionate side, inspiring, your leadership uh, skills. 
And when this card comes, also there's a duality. It means that anything that has been in the dark or anything that you have been in the dark uh, about, that will come up for you to see. The truth will surface. The truth will be revealed. Okay? For you to see uh, the uh, truth. So generally, you're going to feel like you are being... Uh, you are re-emerging into the light. So the advice is use this new energy. Use this energy of you being in the spotlight. Use it in a positive way. Think happy uh, thoughts. Be happy. Uh, you know, re um, remember the good, the good times. Happy uh, memories. And keep on uh, shining. For many of you, this is going to be a year of transformation and uh, manifestation. You don't have to necessarily be on a spiritual path for you to start manifesting or for you to see that one of your big desires and big wishes is being uh, manifested. Um, so I keep hearing that for some of you, this is about a marriage. This is about... Uh, an encounter, you meeting someone that is just going to add more meaning to your life. And for some of you, maybe you already know this person, maybe you already met this person, and in 2018 you could be uh, getting uh, uh, married. So that's going to be the case for some of uh, you. Also, they are telling me about your intuition, these brand new ideas. It does feel like your crown chakra will be getting a boost. If for some of you your crown chakra was blocked, it will be um, it will be healed. Now, crown chakra can also be related to ideas, creativities, how you connect to the universe, what gives you meaning, what gives you uh, purpose, your own sense of uh, intuition, um, intuition as uh, as well. So. Um, Whatever you think about, you're going to bring uh, about. For some of you, the area of your life that would be particularly very much highlighted is going to be your work in your career. Maybe you're going to shine this year uh, in your work, in your career. Maybe you're going to do very uh, good, very uh, well. And if for some reason they are showing me, you know, where, you know the backup singers, they always sing in the background. Now it's time for you to take center stage. So however this wants to manifest in your uh, life. For some of you, this could be that uh, your talents, your, uh, they're going to shine a light on your talents and your special skills, special uh, abilities. It's um, The light is going to be on you. So it's not going to be hard for you to get uh, attention. That's what I keep getting for you. Some of you may also do some sort of a uh, renewal. You may or rekindle. You may decide to rekindle or renew an old friendship. Uh, you may go back to um, you know some old passion, an old hobby. You may decide to kind of renew this old um, uh, passion or this old uh, hobby. It does feel like you're going to take whatever worked for you in the past. Okay, whether it was an attitude, uh, an exercise, a hobby, uh, whatever worked for you in the past, it feels like you're going to go back to that, but boost it and make it, uh, and boost it and make it uh, better. So overall, I keep getting that at the beginning of the year, things may be a little tough for some of you, not necessarily for all of you, but I keep getting that. There's light at the end of the tunnel, and at least you're going to shine, and at least one area of your life will be very successful, and it will uh, shine. So now let's focus on January 2018. I'm going to open two cards from the Psychic Tarot deck by John Holland, and uh, I didn't even see the cards until uh, now. So I have Prosperity Begins, and I have Foundation and Achievement. Prosperity begins January 2018. So to me, it means, the meaning of the card is, this signifies the beginning of prosperity, beginning of wealth. For some of you, this could be about a new uh, business. But it also means that 
uh, the hard work that, um, uh, from the past in persistence will now start to pay off. For those of you who maybe uh, did some investments in the past, now you could be um, accumulating gain from uh, that. So some success into investments provided that you already uh, invested in the past. For some of you, this could be gifts, people showing up for you with gifts or surprises. But I also keep giving uh, that if you plan carefully with your money, if you plan carefully with your ideas, that's how you are going to guarantee success and gain. For many of you, you need to focus on like a vision board or a vision in your mind and your project and your job. Believe it and then it's going to uh, happen. So something is manifesting already for some of you in January. And because they are drawing my attention to these two hands, okay, coming in unison together, for some of you, this could be the forming of a new partnership. For some of you, this could be the forming of a new love relationship or the forming of a business uh, partnership. But they are also telling me that it is like you extending your hand and the universe is meeting you halfway. So feeling supported. Uh, it could be that in January 2018, karma will intervene. Something karmic could be happening in your life. This could be like um, people that you're going to meet, conversations that you are going to have, anything that may be revealed to you in uh, January. If you have any ideas or if you have any dreams, uh, please record your dreams, write them down, try to remember them. This could be that the universe is trying to subconsciously, psychically, intuitively trying to send to you some ideas that could be showing up for you in your dreams or to you they're going to feel like your ideas because this is planting the seeds of new, uh, of new ideas. You may be having ideas about maybe doing your job in a new way, ideas about generating money in a new, uh, in a new uh, way. For some of you, I also keep getting that you may find out later that uh, you are pregnant because this is planting the seed. So you may not uh, discover it right away. You may find out later that in January you got pregnant. That's going to be the case for some of you uh, Pisces. Um, <laughs> here's what I get in the last moment. They're talking about the tree of life. And they're saying the tree of life lies within you, in your heart and your soul. And you can draw the fruit or you can um, pick the fruit from the, from the tree of life anytime you see it fit but you also need to reach out to others reach out to others reach out to the universe and um the universe will uh reply so for some reason that's how this message uh came up with that card the next card is foundation and achievement again for january 2018 for pisces it means you will be focusing on establishing a strong foundation and remember that you deserve this you deserve to have all good things happening to you for many of you uh, yeah, it's going to be a month again they are reinforcing what they said you're going to reap the rewards of the hard work or something that you did in the past but at the same time um Pisces don't forget that you need to leave the door open you need to be open to receive and the law of attraction works by establishing healthy boundaries between giving and receiving. So if during this time in January you see that maybe someone um, is kind of not responding to you or you are not getting the response that you want, maybe sometimes you need to give them some uh, space. It, or maybe you may be feeling like that on yourself. You may be the one needing some space or maybe taking a few day, uh, days off, or maybe just like feel free to wander and have some fun. So again, remember, the basis of manifestation is by you establishing healthy uh, energetic boundaries, healthy boundaries between giving and receiving. And for some of you, this also represents joy, celebration, peace. It also represents a new home or a new property. You may be buying a piece of land or a property. Uh, this also represents a 
marriage. So marriage came up twice in your reading, once in your yearly reading, and for some of you, they're talking about a marriage in, two, uh, in January 2018. So maybe you're going to get proposed to, you're going to propose to someone, or maybe uh, that already happened and you could be um, dealing with settling, uh, setting a date, finding a venue for uh, the wedding. So you could be dealing with uh, that. And for some of you, this could actually be a new, uh, a new home. Create, or even creating a new family, a new sense of family with new people in your uh, life. Because sometimes creating a family is not only about your family of origin, it is about that emotional bonding uh, and creating that sense of, fa of family with other people that uh, um, are uh, like-minded. Uh, I also keep getting for some of you, you may be again homebound or you may be feeling like staying home. Uh, maybe it's going to be like um home and celebrity and celebrations are home maybe you need to stay home to recuperate or just to relax and replenish your um <coughs> energy for some of you i keep getting please pay attention to <coughs> excuse me your throat your neck earring i'm sorry hearing um um headaches for some of you, I don't know if this is specifically only for January or just generally to keep in mind for you throughout 2018. Now remember, in your yearly forecast, they also spoke about your crown chakra. So uh, your crown chakra is also related to uh, if you get like frequent headaches or migraines of you if you have some sort of a writer's block. That could also mean that energetically your crown chakra maybe uh, uh, block. So I can give you pay attention to particularly these areas may be um, uh, delicate. Uh, so this is what I keep getting for you, Pisces. I hope that you enjoyed this uh, reading. I wish you the very best in 2018 for you, your family, your friends, and your loved ones. Remember to tune in January because I will be doing a live streaming. Turn on the bell icon, the notification icon, this way you will be notified and you won't miss the live streaming. Email me for a private reading, amalightworker at gmail.com or contact me through my website, amalightworker.com. Thank you again. I will see you soon in the next videos. Bye.